when do you know that that's the cue to use for that that individual ah beautiful so to back up just a second julian treasure who's a great communication coach has a number of ted talks he says this uh before you can be understood you must first seek to understand and coaches always need to remember that we are communicating from a place of personal bias. We are using the words, phrases, experiences, pictures that make sense to us based on our experience. And I do believe that as coaches gain more experience and work with more athletes, they realize it becomes important to be flexible with our communication and adaptable. One of my mentors once said, if you want to be a great coach, Nick, you better learn how to be a chameleon. It's about the person you're influencing, not you. And that's always stuck with me. And so when it comes to cueing, and you probably noticed this, Pat, in, in the book, a lot of the mock scenarios where I have an athlete and a coach, there's a lot of questions going on. So for me, many of my cues are crafted from the athlete themselves. So for example, and this brings in how we use internal language, you know, I, I do a lot in sprinting. So athletic performance on the 40-yard dash and movement skills in American football and rugby now is my background. And so I might say to a player, listen, we're not getting enough push off the line. We're not getting enough extension. We might even show some video. I say, well, what do you think you need to think about to get a bit more push? And Pat, I've heard everything under the sun, right? I'm going to imagine I'm chasing someone. I'm going to imagine I'm being chased. I'm going to think about being a rocket, but very rarely is it, I'm going to think about extending my hip, knee, and ankle. And so by the very nature of that interaction, the athlete lets me into what I call their language locker. It shows me their words, their phrases, their experiences, and visuals that work really well for them. And so assuming that the meaning that they're sharing in their cue is the meaning that I want to get across in mine, Pat, it should make a difference. Ultimately, I don't care about the train. I care about the cargo it's carrying. It's not about the words. It's about what the words mean to the person doing the moving. And so oftentimes I'll use questions, guided questions, to get them thinking in the technical atmosphere that I want to change. And I'll use almost like motivational interviewing to see what they come up with. 